So, in my last video, I actually talked about how there's a little fight brewing for fourth place. Now, actually, since the Qatar Grand Prix, I've changed my mind and it looks like Alonso's probably gonna keep that spot. But, since the Qatar Grand Prix, there is another fight that I've just seen brewing and I'd love to talk about it. Because in this fight, there's a 21 point gap between fifth and eighth place drivers. And that, of course, is Carlos Sainz, Charles Leclerc, Lando Norris, and George Russell. And I really want to talk about this fight purely because the Ferraris haven't looked perfect recently. And with George Russell and his Mercedes looking pretty good when he doesn't crash, and Lando Norris's McLaren looking phenomenal at the minute, who's going to finish fifth? So, let's start off with Carlos Sainz. So, Carlos Sainz. For now, he is my second favourite for that fifth place position in the Drivers' Championship. And of course, currently he is sitting in fifth place for now with 153 points to his name. Obviously, we know he had that Singapore Grand Prix win. And in Qatar, he didn't start the race. He had an issue with his car. It was something to do with his fuel system, which was a shame because, yes, he was starting in 12th, but he definitely could have got up to like 7th or 8th in that race potentially even sixth or fifth because hamilton crashed out as well but after that result in qatar it's sort of scared me for the ferraris because if you look ahead in the calendar there's five more races four out of the five i would say you sort of need to have a good car in those high speed corners Mexico, you've got a whole section for it. The new Las Vegas trap has speed traps galore. USA, the next one, Austin coming up, that's high speed corners as well, quite a few of them. So uh, it's not looking very good for Ferrari from what I've seen from them in Qatar. So no matter what happens, I think it will be close because if McLaren or Mercedes keep getting podiums, then Sainz just has to keep on getting seventh and eighth and I think he's fine. But if he DNFs or doesn't start a race, could get bad quite quickly. So that's why he's my second favorite for fifth. Now, Charles Leclerc is currently sitting sixth in the championship with 145 points to his name. He is my fourth driver pick for that fifth position in a driver's championship, purely because I don't see him overtaking signs. And same problems with signs, but with less of a gap to Lando Norris and George Russell. His gap's only nine points to Norris and 13 points behind Russell. Norris potentially could be ahead of him by next race weekend. It'd be a lot to ask, but he could be potentially even a few points behind. Russell, same idea, very close to overtaking him as well. So I would not be surprised if Charles Leclerc actually ended up finishing eighth place. Sad to say for all you Ferrari geezers, but unless you guys bring upgrades, I don't know what's happened to that car recently. And I know that your car is good around tracks like Singapore, but there's no more tracks like Singapore coming up, which is the problem. So Charles Leclerc, yeah, my fourth choice for that fifth position. Then moving on to my favorite choice driver for that fifth place position, and it's Lando Norris. Now, the reason for this, and I know, hear me out, he's currently seventh in the Drivers' Championship. We all saw what he did in Qatar, and that, you could say, was a bad weekend for him. Third place in both the sprint and the actual race. Could have potentially got second if McLaren didn't intervene, but fully understandable. And that was from him starting 10th. Now, of course, the Mercedes had their tangle, so maybe he wouldn't have got third, but he still definitely would have got fourth or fifth in that race, which showed how much pace he had. And if McLaren can bring that to the next couple of races that all have high-speed corners, he's sitting pretty. And I don't see why he couldn't get a podium in all of those races, which would put a lot of pressure on the Ferrari boys in front of him. Now, like I've said, he's nine points behind Leclerc and he's only 17 points behind Sainz. So quite a bit more. And again, if Sainz can just pick up six, seven eighths for the rest of the season, would be extremely close and very exciting to watch. Could go down to the final race of the season in Abu Dhabi. But... I think Lando will get it if he is flawless for the rest of this weekend. He has to be getting top five finishes for the rest of the season, which in that McLaren could be possible. 
very much could be possible, considering he's been on the podium for the last three races. And I know, it's a big shout for me to be saying this. There's almost entirely going to be a slight bit of bias. Of course, I would love for that to happen, but I'm trying to keep it chill. And even without bias, surely you can understand why I believe he could do this. If that McLaren stays where it is and the Ferrari stays where they've been, it will happen. But all I do know for sure is it's gonna be very exciting the next few races. Even with the championship wrapped up, look further out on the grid and there are races to be had. Finally, let's talk about the final geezer in this four man group fighting for fifth. And it is George Russell, currently the eighth place in a driver's championship, my third choice. Funnily enough, I do think he will overtake Leclerc. Like I've said, Russell is 13 points behind Leclerc. So I think that is very doable if he just doesn't crash. Now, I know in Qatar, he still managed fourth in both races. Very good considering what he's been through this weekend. And funnily enough, it wasn't his fault that he crashed. But he needs to stop crashing. If he wants that fifth place, and I know he can get it because that Mercedes looked rapid. It looked like it had very similar pace to the McLaren. And if they are battling McLarens and both ahead of the Ferraris, I don't see why George Russell couldn't overtake Sainz as well. Now, Norris, I think if he does overtake Sainz, he'll be like 10, 15, 20 points in front of them. But Sainz and Russell, I think it could go right down to the wire, like one point in between them. And I don't know about you, but I'm excited to see this because it'll be hilarious. Final lap of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, George Russell's fighting for fifth or sixth in the championship and then he just bottles it because it'll be such a George Russell thing to do. He's got a 21 point gap to signs as well. That's why I'm saying it will be close because five more races to go. Realistically, he has to be getting top fives like Norris and Sainz can't be having any good races. Sainz has to be coming less than eighth in most races for this to occur. But I'm looking forward to it. And what do you guys think about this fight for fifth? Because I haven't actually seen anyone else speak about this so far. I might be wrong, but something's brewing and it's really exciting. So what do you guys think? Will Sainz keep fifth? He could still potentially get fourth. I still haven't even spoken about that, but I spoke about that in my last video and I've kind of changed my mind on that now because of the Qatar Grand Prix. It wasn't actually signed as full, but yeah, will Leclerc hang on? Because he could completely fall apart into eighth at this point. And then can Norris or Russell get up into fifth in the championship? Because with their cars at the minute, they definitely could. So hey, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you later on in this week for another one. Have a good week. Bye bye.